This video will be going through step-by-step -step instructions on how to install Inventus Power's 48 volt battery into a club car precedent golf cart. This installation video features Inventus Power's S48V60 TRX HD battery, along with the universal Pro Traction mounting bracket and the M8 cable extension kit. First, make sure to remove any jewelry, watches, or other accessories, and wear proper safety protection. Now we'll review all the tools and equipment necessary for a successful installation. Wiring connections will be made using the wire extension kit. Choose the appropriate power cable gauge and lengths based on the system load requirements. Please note that pack-to-pack -pack connections should be made with the same cable lengths for optimal performance. We'll also be using these recommended tools. A number two Phillips screwdriver or drill. Socket wrench with a 13 millimeter and 14 millimeter sockets. Deep well 10 millimeter socket wrench. Drill with a 10 millimeter bit. A tape measure and a pencil. After we have our tools ready, Let's run through a few simple safety checkpoints. First, set the vehicle brake. Make sure the ignition is turned off. Lift up the seat. Ensure there's no power connected to the cart by switching the cart to tow. You'll wanna make sure all battery packs are powered off in ship mode before installing. You can confirm if the packs are powered off by tapping the button once and notice the LEDs do not light up. If the LEDs do light up, then hold the SOC indicator button for three to five seconds. After three seconds, you should see the LEDs start to walk down. Next, tap the button and confirm the LEDs do not light up. The battery is now in ship mode and safe to install. We are now ready to install the battery using the mounting hardware. Ensure any previously installed batteries and hardware are removed from the battery bucket before install. Place the Inventus Power 48 volt battery in the bucket. To locate the hole position to drill, place the mounting bracket on top of the battery. The mounting bracket should run to the side of the terminal symbol in the plastic so that it doesn't interfere with any of the connecting ports. Drop one of the J-hooks through the bracket hole with the threads pointed downwards. With a pencil, mark the spot where the J-hook makes contact to the battery bucket surface. Take out everything from the battery bucket. From the mark we just made, measure and mark the second hole. In this case, it's 195 millimeters from the first hole. Drill the two holes with a 10 millimeter drill bit. Also, Check that you aren't drilling through plastic ribs in the battery bucket, which can be identified by the sink marks in the plastic. Feed the first J-hook through the 10 millimeter hole and place the bracket and washers and nut on the other side. Feed the second J-hook through the hole and make sure to hold the J-hook until you secure it with the bracket and nut. Otherwise, it could fall under the cart. With the 10 millimeter deep well socket wrench, tighten the nuts. Place the rubber caps on top of each J-hook. To ensure a safe installation, it's important that all connections are made properly. As a best practice, we recommend wiring all negative connections first, followed by all positive connections. Mount the black M8 terminal block with two of the four plastic tapping screws into the battery bucket using a Phillips head screwdriver or drill. Connect the black vehicle power wire to one side of the black M8 terminal block. Connect the one meter black extension cable to the other side of the black M8 terminal block. Mount the red M8 terminal block with the remaining two screws away from the mounted black M8 terminal block. It is important that these two never touch. Connect the red vehicle power wire to one side of the red M8 terminal block. Connect the one meter red extension cable to the other side of the red M8 terminal block. Unscrew the M8 bolt from the battery's negative terminal. Thread the bolt through the ring terminal from the one meter black cable and then screw the bolt back into the same battery terminal. The M8 bolt should be torqued to 17 Newton meters. Repeat the last step connecting the positive red cable to the positive terminal of the battery. Now that everything has been wired together, please be sure to double check all connections are tightened to the proper torque before powering the system on. Press and hold the button for five seconds to turn on the battery. Switch the cart from tow to run. The batteries are installed and we're ready to roll.